Last time we talked about the PLC architecture in general. In this video, I will be specifically talking about a working uh, S7300 PLC. S7300 PLC is one of the Siemens S7 PLCs. So this is the rake of the Siemens S7300 PLC and all the modules are uh, plugged into this rack. The digital input, digital output, and log input modules. The power supply module is the very first one. The CPU is 7300 module. A Profibus cable for Profibus communication mounted onto the CPU Profibus port. The CPU module is missing, but uh, the built-in Profibus communication port is used in this case for Profibus communication. This rake of a 7300 PLC has a total of 10 modules, including the power supply. The very first module is a power supply module. The next one is the CPU module of a 7300 PLC and the model number is 3152DP. Well, these five first five modules are digital input module. Right. The next two modules are digital output modules. while the last one is an analog input module. There is no analog output module in this rig as it was not requirement, but you can add an analog output module as well uh, based on your own requirement. The cables are emanating from each module and these cables are coming actually from field, from field switches and sensors and are connected are interfaced with these digital input cards. Similarly, those devices that are to be controlled by the PLC are interfaced with digital output modules of this REC PLC and the sensors that are actually sending continuous time data to the PLC such as pressure sensor or uh, a thermocouple are interfaced through these hard wires to this PLC, uh, to the analog input card there interface, right? We have a purple color cable emanating from the, uh, the CPU of this uh, REC PLC. This is the Profibus cable, Profibus cable, and uh, it is used for Profibus communication of devices such as drives, extended modules ET200 M for example or uh, any other PLC to this Simmons PLC right so this is the cable for the Profibus communication the power supply cables are connected to the power supply module right I will zoom in each and every module in this rag PLC and will explain if I uh, these Two are the covers. If if I uh, remove these covers, I, I will explain the terminations. Well, when I lift the covers from the first two modules, that were the power supply and CPU modules, I can have a look at the AC power supply connections L1, N, and productive earth. Well, the AC power supply cables are connected to these terminals and the DC supply, the DC 24 volt supply that is required for the operation of the CPU module, well, we will actually get the 24 volt uh, at these terminals, right? L plus and M, right? We have three pairs of the DC supply that we can take, right? L plus means path to 24 volt, while M means zero volt, right? So you must remember uh, L plus and M because we will be using these indications throughout and uh, you have a Profibus connector this is the Profibus connector that 
is carrying the profitless cable out of uh, out of this PLC and we have an MPI cable connected over here right so MPI communication is also required in case we have a touch panel that is interfaced with the CPU right and uh, these are the run stop and memory reset uh, switches well when the switch is at the position of run it means the processor can process the data if it is at the stop well there no processing can take place and memory reset uh, is used when we are uh, intending to reset the program and data in the memory now i have a closer look at each module and i will be explaining well, PS307 is the model number of the power supply. 5 ampere is the uh, total capacity of this power supply. It can handle load up to 5 amperes, right? And DC 24 volt indicator is on. It means that it is successfully converting the AC supply to the DC 24 volt and it is available at the output terminals. Well, this is the switch for power on and power off, right? And this is the uh, model number on the power supply, the order number. The next step is the CPU module, and uh, as you can have a look at the model number CPU 3152 DP. This is the uh, Simmons PLC S7300 and uh, one of the S7300 PLCs, right? 3152 DP. And these are the indicators on the CPU module system fault buffer fault maintenance dc5 volt force run stop whichever is the uh, condition of the cpu well the respective led will be lit on right this is the memory card that is mounted onto this cpu uh, uh, through this slot in the cpu so this is the memory card it can have a uh, size that can vary for example it, it may be of 128 kilobytes and uh, it can have data up to 4 megabytes well it depends on the size of the memory card it can vary right uh, these are the switches for the run stop and memory reset operations right so we are done with the first two modules well the first uh, five modules that uh, we talked about in the first section are the digital input module and if you are you can have a closer look at each module you will uh, observe that this is something that is written on each module di32 cross uh, 24 volt what it means that every module has 32 channels digital input channels and each channel uh, is of 24 volt right the 24 volt coming from the field device such as switch or sensor or a digital sensor uh, is interfaced with each channel on this digital input card so as discussed the first five modules on a digital input di32 cross 24 volt right the digital output modules do 32 dc24 slash 0.5 ampere right every digital output module these two digital output modules every module has 32 channels digital output channels and each channel is uh, sending 24 volt to the field device which is motor right uh, the last module is analog input module ai8 cross 12 bit it means that every uh, sorry it means that the card the the this analog input card has eight channels eight analog channels and each channel has the resolution of 12 bit right so we have eight channels on this card and uh, every analog input channel is of 12 bit re uh, resolution right that means that the the, the sensor, the field sensor that is sending data to this analog input card, the, the continuous time data can be sampled into 12 bits. Each analog input channel has 12 bit resolution. That is what it means. 
well sf is the system fault led that will be lit in case there is any problem in this analog input card similarly you can have a look at the leds that are there that are being lit green in the case there is 24 volt on to uh, the respective channel right if the respective led is on it means that the field sensor digital sensor that is sending data is 24 volt this is why the led is lit right so uh, hope you will have understood the working uh, of each module if you can if you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section